Hello and welcome to uh, this video about uh, setting up your first database on uh, Bytehost. And, and I'm uh, Dr. Charles Severance and this is part of my uh, introductory PHP and my SQL. Um, really sort of uh, in the middle of the class, really sort of part of the chapter 10 bit. And so I'm using uh, Bytehost and I am going to log in using the cPanel address that they've given me and the account that I've been given and the password that I've been given. And so here we have cPanel. Um, so one thing about it, we got PHP in my admin, but we're not going to do that uh, quite yet. Um, not right away, because uh, in, in most of these uh, hosting environments, you don't get to you run, you don't get, your account doesn't have permission to run the create database command. And that's because they often will have a limitation on the number of databases that you can create. And so you might have to pay more money to get more databases. So you have to go to this link, the MySQL databases, and that's where you create your databases, right? And so, and so I'm going to create a database, as in my first example assignment. I'm going to call the database MISC, okay? And I'm going to press Create Database. Now it's doing MySQL. It's just it's not permitting you to do these explicit commands. And so it's going to create a database, and it is going to create a username, and it's going to create a password, which I've already got from before, and it's going to tell me a host name. So unlike if you're running this on MAMP or WAMP, you're running this on a, a real host name. So these are things that you've uh, got to write down. Um, and we're going to put these into the connection string for uh, PDO. But uh, then I'm going to go back to cPanel. And now I can go to phpMyAdmin. So what I was saying there is you can't in phpMyAdmin, see if this fits on my screen here, you can't in phpMyAdmin do a create database. It will not allow you. It will put you already in the database that it's created. Now we can create a table. So uh, let me grab the SQL to create this little table that I want to create. Um, hang on. So here is the create table that I want to run. So I'm within a database and so I'm allowed to do create tables inside PHP MyAdmin. I just can't do create databases because they consider me only having a certain number of databases. And that's pretty common in hosting environments. So now I will run the create table. Okay, and so that worked pretty fine. And I can uh, go take a look at the structure um, of the user's table. And, uh, and there we go. So that's, that's, at that point, it's pretty much the same as, um, as if you were doing it locally. It's just you had to create the database first and then you don't get to switch databases uh, the same way in PHP MyAdmin. So now I'm going to close PHP MyAdmin and go back to cPanel, clicking the home button here. And um, I could upload a file using FTP, but I'm going to just use this very convenient online file manager to, uh, because the file I want to create is extremely simple. So I'm going to put a file in my htdocs and I'm going to create a new file. And I'll call the file uh, db.php, okay? And in this file, I am going to put the following code. I'll let you take a look at it. Okay, so this is my uh, PDO. I'm, I've got this host that came from the cPanel. I'm going to port 3306. My database name came from cPanel. My user came from cPanel, and um, my uh, password has to be right. And uh, then I'm, so what I'm doing is I'm putting this in a try catch block just so that I can get an error message uh, out of this thing. I, I, I put a die, and I'm going to also just var dump. I can take all this out later. Var dump dollar PDO. So I can see what happens, right? And then I'll finish my PHP. So again, you can see this, and it's I probably sent you a handout or something. But you basically, you, you, they give you the host name. It's port 3306. They give you the database name. They give you the username. And then this is your secret. Now I'm going to snip out the part where I put my actual secret in so that you don't see it. Okay? So I'll be back in a second after I've 
and then I'll save the file, okay? Okay, so now I'm back. I've saved the file. That file is now sitting there in uh, db.php. Make a smaller db.php. And so now I'm going to go to my actual web host. And it worked. Okay, if it hadn't worked, um, then I would get an error message. So let me go back and cause an error message. Okay, so what the error message is I'm going to just give it a bad password. So um, there's all you can make a mistake in any of this stuff, but I'm just going to give it a bad password. So there I go, and I saved it. And now I'm going to hit refresh on db.php. Okay, so it's complaining to me and saying I got the bad password. And so from here, you know, it's pretty much making PHP files and running SQL. But I just wanted to show you uh, this video that kind of gets you started and up to the point where you've got your first video. Okay, thanks for watching.